Summer Safety Tips for Dogs 1. Give your dog plenty of water and shade. This summer, if you plan to spend a lot of time outside with your dog, be sure to provide them with plenty of water and a pleasant shady location to rest. Dogs struggle to stay cool because they can't regulate their body temperatures as well as humans do. They are susceptible to heat stroke from prolonged heat exposure. If the weather is too hot for you to be comfortable outside, it's also too hot for your dog since too much heat and humidity can be harmful to your dog's health. It's safer to keep him amused inside on those extremely hot days. 2. Use a kiddie pool or sprinkler to keep cool. Does your dog enjoy swimming? Your dog can cool off in a kiddie pool that has been filled with water. Since their nails can destroy the softer ones, I advise using a plastic one. Lacking a kiddie pool? Many dogs enjoy using the sprinklers or hose to play. 3. Avoid prolonged exposure to hot sand and pavement. Avoid exposing your dog's paws for an extended period of time to hot asphalt and sand. Try to walk your dog in the early morning or late evening throughout the summer to avoid the hottest pavement. Stick to grassy or wooded areas when you go for a walk during the day. Try Musher's Secret to protect your dog's paws if you're heading for a lengthy walk. Additionally, you can purchase a pair of boots for your dog for sweltering days. 4. Short-faced dogs are more susceptible to heat stroke. Remember that short-faced dogs like bulldogs and pugs, don't pant as effectively and are far more prone to heat exhaustion. Bulldogs are very sensitive to heat. When the temperature rises above 80 degrees, they should only have restricted access to the outdoors. 5. Don't leave your dog alone in a hot car. In hot weather, never leave your dog in the car, a cracked window won't keep the interior cool. Additionally, many states prohibit it. In a parked automobile with the windows cracked, the temperature climbs by at least 32 degrees in 30 minutes when it's 78 degrees outside and sunny. So, 78 degrees to 110 degrees in 30 minutes. 6. Avoid strenuous exercise. Avoid vigorous exercise on very hot days, and keep your workouts brief. The same is true on really humid days. Check out some easy things to keep your dog occupied indoors on those extremely hot days. 7. Watch out for doggy sunburn. Dogs are susceptible to sunburn, especially those with light coats and short hair. There are creams made specifically for dogs that protect them from the sun. Avoid applying human sunscreen to pets because many of the ingredients are poisonous to them. 8. Make sure your pet is protected from pests. In the summer, tick and mosquito populations are at their highest. Ask your veterinarian about the various preventatives that are available. After bringing your dog inside, thoroughly check his skin just like you would for fleas, to check for ticks. 9. Watch your dog around treated lawns. Dogs should not be allowed on lawns that have received chemical fertilizer treatment for at least 24 hours. Pets are poisoned by many of the chemicals used in lawn treatments. 10. Don't let dogs drink from oceans, lakes or pools. Don't allow your dog drink seawater because it can dehydrate them and make them throw up. A dog may die if they consume enough. When you go to the beach with your dog, remember to bring fresh water. 11. Shaving your dog might not keep him cool. Because your dog is panting, do not shave him. If you have a double-coated breed, shaving it will make it worse because their fur really helps to keep them cool. 12. Keep your pet inside during the 4th of July. Dogs generally dread fireworks. On July 5th, more dogs enter shelters than on any other day of the year, by 30%. On July 4th, keep him inside. Work on counter-conditioning and desensitization before the 4th of July if your dog has noise fears. You might ask your veterinarian if anxiety medication could be helpful for highly stressed dogs. 13. Make sure your dog is wearing identification. In the summer, we spend a lot of time outside with our dogs, which raises the possibility of them escaping or becoming lost. Make sure your dog is wearing a collar with your contact information on it and getting your dog microchipped is a smart idea in case their collar comes off. Keeping your dog on a leash in unfenced places is one of the greatest ways to stop them from wandering off. Remember that some dogs can jump a six-foot fence with ease. Enjoy the warm weather safety with your dog. If you're looking to go out with your dog this summer keep these tips in mind. You can enjoy the summer with your dog safely with a few simple tips. Thank you for watching.